There seems to be few limits to what triggers Putin and his Russian nationalists take the idea that he launched this war to denazify Ukraine. So we visited Kyiv's Holocaust memorial site at Babinya to try to understand that term in a nation with a Jewish president and several ministers who have outlawed anti-Semitism. And they say, you know, so-and-so Ukrainian is a Nazi. It means anti-Russian or anti-Semitic? Definitely, Putin doesn't care about Babinyar, doesn't care about Holocaust, doesn't care about Jews. Uh, when he's speaking about denazification, how powerful an entity are ultranationalists or fascists here? In Ukraine, they tried to go for elections a couple of times. Every time, succeeding to get one percent. So it's very people are very reluctant to give any power to ultra right. <laughs> Ruslan Kavatsyuk is deputy director of Babin Yar. He tells us Yar means ravine, and he shows us the precise site where more than 30,000 Jews were executed on September 29 and 30th, 1941. Today, the most beautiful synagogue has been built to memorialize them. The Swiss architect and Ukrainian engineers have devised an elaborate and complex structure, revealing itself through a system of pulleys, to be in part based on synagogues that used to dot the ancient countryside. Over one and a half million Jews lived here before World War II. About one million were killed in the Holocaust. It's believed that 43,000 Jews still live in Ukraine, although perhaps four times that number claim Jewish ancestry. As we peer into the audiovisual history of how 100,000 Jews and others were simply gunned down during World War II in this area alone, Ruslan tells us that Russia needs to respect Ukraine's tragic past, not distort it. And back at St. Michael's, here's 80-year-old Irina. I would tell Putin to come to his senses and not to harm people. What right does he have? Well, who is he? And why is he destroying us like this? We pray and ask God that it will be over soon. The wall around St. Michael's is dedicated to some of the 14,000 soldiers who've been killed since Putin first invaded back in 2014. And the people pray for Ukraine to win what they call this struggle against evil and stop it spreading any further.